Hi, I have ordered Vernik light board, which is supposed to be thermal insulator, and well, it actually is. The conductivity should be 0.25 watts per meter Kelvin. I have found some products that are made of fumed silica, and these have a much better thermal conductivity at about 0.03 watts per meter Kelvin. I will consider buying one of those as well, because I am quite skeptical, to be honest. Anyway, back to business. So, same setup as before. Not sure if the measurement of the top temperature is repeatable, because probe position doesn't seem to have any effect on it. So if yes, the temperature is lower than previously. The temperature on the bottom is nice and stable, 200 degrees, which is still about 100 degrees too high for my likings. I tried to do some sintering here, just for fun. Very crude setup, but it has reached very high temperatures, well, about 750 degrees. At this point, temperature on the bottom was about 300 degrees and, oh man, it was screaming. I mean, it doesn't look like too much on the camera, but this is the limit of the wavelength that the camera can see. But having said that, just placing aluminum foil on the bottom improves emissivity by quite a lot. I mean, I could put my hand underneath that thing and be fairly comfortable. But this is commercial stuff and quite exotic material, so I don't really like it. Here is waste that I made when I carved the Vernik light board. You can see that it behaves very much like a mica. In fact, it's probably the same family of the minerals. This looks pretty much like the stuff you can find on the beds of the rivers and... like, small streams. Looks almost like particles of gold. In the next video, that should be uploaded at the very same moment as this one, I will test my next DIY material.